Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your Daily Dust. This is for Friday, August 12th, in real time, if you're watching in real time. If you're not, then that's okay too. This is a timeless reading. I'm in the midst of the week that I've described as the the colored edge decks and also my final decks are the silver and gold edges and here we have the mermaid tarot and a lot of these nice decks have kind of a a golden the gold is sort of more powdery not that not as glassy so we have some powdery and some glassy actually I don't think I have a single ah. <laughs> my cat's jumping on my lap. Okay. I don't think I have a single glassy gold deck. I think I know one of one that I should get though. But um, mostly just um, I have one silver glassy one that I'm going to use tomorrow. Right, let's see what messages we have. I'm just going to take off the top. I'm kind of working sort of one-handed because she's licking my arm down there. Oh, you got the Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. And the Page of Swords. Interesting. Okay, two guys. Torn between two lovers. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles, somebody who wants to give you something tangible, something that you can feel, touch, taste, or wear, like jewelry. Maybe it's a proposal or some kind of tangible offer. It has something to do with the beginnings of laying foundation for a home, uh, moving in together, things like that. Uh, there's a message coming through. Pages represent messengers and students. And so it could also represent the young person or the learner learning something new. Could be something learning something in a book or something like that. But then with the Four of Swords, it could also be learning something about spirituality or something more intuitive. Four of Swords represents rest contemplation, sometimes meditation, and the spiritual realms is kind of, kind of see it sometimes as the dream card, like where you just daydream or dreams at night. And so I feel like you might be getting your messages since we have the two, two messenger cards here, you might be getting most of your messages while you're meditating or while you're at rest or asleep. So definitely make that dream journal so you can write things down to remember them for the next day. The Page of Swords is yet another student and young person or message, but swords energy has to do with intelligence, um, book smarts, all kinds of intelligence, you know, brains, communication, being direct and honest. So also, for some of you out there, this could be literally a torn between two lovers. <laughs> There's two young men or women interested in you. These are depicted by men, so it could be more of the somebody slightly younger than you, or maybe just they're both guys that that are good at communicating, but they have different ways that they communicate. So there's one person that communicates really good. Maybe their acts, their, their love language is acts of service or gift giving. And then the page of swords could be a lover that comes through that their love language is words of affirmation because words usually correlate a lot with, with the mind and the intellect and the mouth. <laughs> and the page of swords energy so if you're making a choice i think you'll make the correct one because you're not going to do it impulsively without a lot of deep thought and so the four of swords to me represents deep thought 
and um, just trust into your in your intuition but definitely whatever it takes it, if it has to do with writing things down as you think of them and then differentiating between ego thoughts and true wisdom and and ultimately even though we are dealing with a lot of swords energy which is the mind the true compass to use for guiding you to the right person or the right path or the right direction is your heart and also another message that just came to me is both <laughs> like you don't necessarily will take both people but you may take both classes in other words if you're a student or you're deciding um, should I do biology and philosophy or what should I major in and maybe you don't major in both and maybe you major in one and minor in the other whatever but I feel like this is kind of a both energy you're allowed to do both also another message is if this is a love situation you may have both in your life. One could be uh, just a really good friend that's not romantically inclined. It's a platonic relationship. Um, one could, or the swords could be the one that you just love talking to them, love your conversations. It's such easy flow, easy to, to get into, but the romance isn't there, there's not the connection that you want but this will vary from person to person sometimes people want the stability they want the material the tangible and if you want that then that's good here if you want somebody that stimulates you intellectually then you may want to choose the page of swords so really uh, dive deep into your feelings of what you truly want when it comes to partnership and this can represent partnerships of all kinds the bigger picture here I think represents knowledge and learning things because of the pages coming out and definitely also because of the four of swords it's it's um, a lot of knowledge through deep thought and contemplation and so you're gonna figure this out and there won't be a, a real problem with this anymore. The choice is going to be super clear. All right, so I hope you like that. Faith Justin Pixie Dust.